I'm Tracy Evans, and I'm a three-time Olympian. And I'm here today with... Kurt Bester, Emmy Award-winning composer. Today, I'm a skier, however, here. We're happy to be here on FME. We've got lots to talk about with the Sundance Film Festival, get to know each other a little bit more. Absolutely. But rather than talk, let's ski. Yeah, let's go ahead and take some runs. Do it. Salt Lake, for one, it, it's it's rare in a you know an athlete's career that you get to compete in your your uh, in an Olympics, let alone in your uh, your own country, let alone your backyard. So yeah, it was super extra special to and you know my career here and competing at the Olympics and you, I mean honestly, I thought the Salt Lake Games and the opening closing ceremonies and everything that went into it was amazing. And I had two others to compare it to, so I in. It was. It was. I thought they did an amazing job. Yeah. You did an amazing well, job. Well, no, thank you very <laughs> much. It was fun. I have to tell you, though, I mean, I've conducted orchestras and stuff before, but when I was conducting the orchestra, I had a camera, and I'm conducting with one hand, and I'm taking pictures <laughs> with the other, and I felt kind of cheesy about that until I saw Moby, and he was doing the same, same thing. thing. So I thought, okay, <laughs> if he can do it, I can do it. But I, I have to say, people always talk to me about, you know, what, creative and, and why I always come to mountains when I feel like creating. And, and I guess, in a way, it's, it's why Sundance takes place up in the mountains. I mean, you could go to warmer climes, and, and uh, a lot of people complain, well, how come it's in the wintertime up at, up at, up at uh, Park City? But, well, for me, this is, this is where I, my creativity comes. Is, it, is, it, is being a creative thing for you? It's not work? Uh... Uh, you know, it, like any job, at times it's work, at times it's creative, but, um, you know, for sure, when I was competing, um, to be able to, as an aerialist, you're on a jump site all the time. So it's, it's a very different experience of just coming out on a mountain. So being able to just go out and do a, a, free, a day of free skiing is, was great. It does clear your head. It gets you just, um, you know, to give you a different perspective or a different way of how maybe your training went or how your jumps are coming, as I'm sure it is for composing music for an upcoming, you know, project of yours. What's, uh, you know, coming up with the premiere for Sundance and yeah. the change of hands? Um, yeah, the, that, organization? the change of hands thing is probably what everybody's talking about. I mean, there's a couple things going on. They, they had the uh, executive director, Ken Brecker, step down, and uh, they haven't made the announcement yet about who's going to be the next ED. But Sundance is more than just the people, yeah. more than Bob, and, and Redford will tell you that. It's more than, than him. He's the figurehead, he's the father, he's the inspiration. But there's so many people, somebody like uh, John Cooper, for example, who took Jeff Gilmore's yep, place. Right. Um, he's been doing film picking, selecting, whatever the word is, for at least the same amount of time as Gilmore. And when I say that they watching movies, they go every corner of the globe. I know that he goes to Dubai, he goes to England, he goes to Australia, uh, all around the United States, watching films nonstop. Yep. And you could pretty much count on a, a pretty good crop of movies. You know, we on the, the Utah board, I sit on the advisory board, we're always talking about storytelling. And, and we feel, in the, the Sundance Film Festival, the Sundance Institute, feel like it's our duty to give people a voice. So, you know, there's going to be, um, there's going to be movies all over the map. And somebody told me once inside the Sundance Institute family, they said, look, if, if people like every movie that the Sundance has on a schedule, then we didn't do a good job. Because you can't, certainly you can't please all the people all the time. And, and I think if you go out of here hating a few, loving a few, but certainly talking about just about everyone, they've done a good job. Check it out, Sean White right there. Yeah. Does that bring back memories? Oh, it sure does. It's great to see all these athletes out here getting Good. ready for the Olympics. I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see the festival. I'm sure a lot of cinematographers getting their films ready, putting in sound effects and doing the last little bit. It's going to be a great festival. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, hey, thanks Park City Television and FME. I'm Kurt Bester. And I'm Tracy Evans. Have a great festival, guys.